This is um, the Elements of Human Geography that was written by uh, Anastasia Mugnati, uh, a young woman who teaches uh, geography, having been educated uh, almost to the master's degree in Zambia. And her education is a result of um, people that I contacted in this country, one my own brother and another one, uh, a woman of means that I met when I was down in um, Venice, when I was living in Venice. A woman of new wealth uh, wanted to be able to give her wealth to something that would really make a difference in the world. This was the youngest of seven children. In a, she was an orphan and, and, uh, because both of her parents died. I didn't know what, from what cause, but they both died about the time she was born. And all of the seven children were all farmed out to different relatives in Zambia who raised them. The young man that I met is her brother. And uh, this young man came, was chosen, to, he was, uh, came to the United States, he knew English really well to study, and he was sent to our parish where I was working in Madison to do ministry. It was the uncle who was praying for the, their, their, all their education. And, um, but he didn't have any more money. And so he wanted to know if I could find somebody. So that's how I got to know her. It has taken her whole, uh, at least five years to get, just get the education. And then since the education, she's um, has you know been working on her masters and working on schooling and working on building housing and all that. She just loves everybody. And she doesn't have a religious back, a religious community to help her like I had. But um, she had a religious community to help her. It gives me hope that you, if you just give people a little help, they are quite capable of helping themselves. They're, they are they are very talented people. You don't have any clue from looking at them. Nobody knows what great talents, some what people don't even know how talented they are themselves. This, this was just a little a side thing in a big ministry, a, a totally different from what I was doing. And look what came of it. I don't expect anything ever to be as spectacular as this. Hello, my name is Anastasia Munyati from Lusaka, Zambia. I have known Sister Claire for the last 11 to 12 years. I came to know Sister Claire through my older brother Maurice Munyati, who was an old lad and came to work in the US for uh, a few years. So, Sister Claire introduced me to her brother Jeff. She also introduced me to Joanne. I like to say this is a team of people who came together to take this little girl to school and give her an education so that she could become something in the future. But one thing I've come to realize is like I do not know whether they actually had an idea of what they were getting themselves into. Uh, through university and my work experience and teaching, then going to do my master's and pursuing a diploma in theology at the Bible Training Center in Zambia. I have come to appreciate one thing about relationships. God places people in our lives for a particular reason. And one concept that I have come to really um, understand and go for is a concept of you get one opportunity and one chance to something in life and you have to grab it with both your hands. So for me, when Joanne and Jeff and Sister Claire got together and decided they were gonna take me to school, I say to myself, so my parents are gone I don't have anybody to take me through university and somehow God has brought these people into my life so I will utilize this opportunity to become somebody in life so graduated from university I started working and now after everything that has happened in the last 12 years I realize that what goes around must always come around so because of relationships I have now opened uh, a charity organization it's called faith arise community center um, the mission of faith arise is bettering lives 
through education and sheltering children as well as rehabilitating and empowering vulnerable women. So the concept behind Faith Arise is for me to be able to impact other people's lives because Staclea touched my life in such a huge way. I am now called to impact other people's lives. There's so many orphans and vulnerable children in this world and in Zambia itself. So I would like, if I can touch one life at a go and change them and transform them and allow them to become somebody responsible in future, then I have accomplished the purpose of relationships. When the Bible says that God wants us to be able to help the orphans and the vulnerable, He really means that whatever resources and whatever blessings God has bestowed upon us, we must utilize them for the benefit of other people. So for me, I have come to appreciate this because one woman thousands and thousands of miles away from me felt it was important for her to educate me. So I love you so much, Sister Claire, and I would not have become an author today who has written a textbook that the entire education system in this country is now using in the schools. I would not have founded this charity organization that I have founded had it not been for you. So I love you so much and I am truly grateful. <laughs>